Hello everyone and welcome back to this new fresh video on creating a report inside Power BI. We'll be learning two things in this video. Number one is how to automate your work that's automation inside Power BI and second thing is how do we visualize the data? How do we create the reports inside Power BI? Now automation what exactly that means where there's no human involvement okay and the machine or the software is able to do the work automatically by itself okay let us see an example so this example i have collected from one of the company where i've designed the similar kind of case study not exactly the same because the data was confidential so i have to pick up some other data here let me show you the data set so everyone there is a folder okay which has 50 csv files 50 50 csv file csv stands for comma separated values okay these are comma separated values now those files were having similar kind of data okay what the company wanted is they wanted to combine or consolidate or append okay so they wanted to combine all the 50 files into one file so that they can create a report out of that okay and every day every month every quarter they used to get one new file okay so their job is to just dump the file in the folder okay how do we do that but before we actually proceed further okay let me show you the data set what we have Suppose if I open this file, okay, California, you see these are name of different states in the United States, California, Texas. So if I open the California file, okay, and if I show you this data, which is present in the CSV file, the data is of the sales transaction or customer information, any name you can give it. Okay. So this is a beautiful data set what we have. Okay. In this data set, there is everything. Whenever you go to watch a movie, right? You try to see everything, action, romance, thriller, suspense, okay, comedy, same way. This is the data set which has everything. Okay. This data set has something named as date data type. This data set has something named as text data type. You see ship mode, customer ID, customer name and segment. Okay. The other one, if you see in the blue color highlighted, these are what you call as geographical data. Geographical stands for any field which gives you information about the location. So country, city, state, postal code, these are geographical information. Similarly, if I move on the right hand side, you can see these are again some textual columns, the category, the subcategory and product name. You have to remember the column names also. And on the right hand side, you can see there are some numerical columns, which is talking about the sales, quantity, profit and discount. Okay. And the only thing is, which you have to understand here, that this data belongs to only one particular state. The name of the state is California. Okay. So I have recently joined one XYZ company. Okay. Let's say TechnoEdge Learning Services. I've joined the company and that people, what they are asking me, okay, they want to find out what is the sales done. Okay, how much is the sales done? Which product name has given the highest sales? Which subcategory has given the highest sales? Which category, which product ID, which region, which state, which city and which country? Okay, so they want to find out which particular entity has given the highest sales. Why? Because they want to increase the sales. They want to keep a discount. If the sales are lower, they can start about the marketing campaign, any anything it can be. Okay, so that's they want to understand. So what we are going to do everyone, first thing, the data is only for California. As I told you, it's a name of the file is California. Filtered data is for California. Name of this particular file is again California. So I'll close the file here. Now, the company wants to combine all the data. Okay, there are 50 files in this particular folder, 50. So how do you combine the files? If you ask any experienced person in the company, okay, is working from last eight, 10 years in the company. If you ask them, how do you combine the data? They will tell you they copy paste the data. Okay, open one file, copy data, paste in the other file. And they keep on doing for n number of files, 50 times because I have 50 files. Now imagine if there are thousand files, the person would be doing thousand times. If the person is very much technically smarter, okay, he knows Python coding or some other coding VBA macro, then they will write a macro coding to get the answers. But suppose if the person is lame and if the person is not having coding knowledge, okay, and not having time as well, how it can be done. So everyone, the good news is we can combine the data. We can combine this 50 files in just three steps. How many steps? Just three steps inside Power BI. Okay. So let us see the method. Number one. I can just copy the path of the folder. Okay. That's the first thing I can right click and copy the path of the folder and I can open power BI. Okay. In this power BI people who do not know, they can also understand this topic. Okay. It's very, very easy. 
so i can click on get data more button okay get data more button and i can just pick up the folder path okay i can pick up that folder option here so i'll just click on cancel i could have done get data csv it's already there but it is not one file it is 50 files which i want to combine so i can click on this get data more button and i can click on the folder option and i can click on connect so as i promised you three steps the first step is we copied the path of the folder we are pasting the path okay that's step number one click on okay step number two is i'll get a preview of all the files these are preview of all the files so step number two is i can just click on combine and load okay combine means it is going to consolidate combine append different names people give it right so i can just click on combine and load option and now the third and the last step is click on ok button so when you click on ok button all the files from the folder have been combined in three steps no coding required no copy paste required okay any person can do it so by the way this topics are now been taught into the colleges earlier this topic was only limited to corporate companies but now this syllabus has been included in the colleges as well and you see on the right hand side these are all the columns in that particular file state data csv file so if you do not trust me everyone you see on the left hand side which is data option you see on the left hand side data option uh, in the data option if you observe the number of files or the number of records i can say are 10368 records or rows now suppose a new file comes in this folder okay so right now i just have florida okay i don't have a new file so what i'll do is i'll just right click on the file copy this particular file right click and i can just paste the file in the folder okay so here i'll give the name of this file as delhi today i'm in delhi yesterday i was in pune okay so i'll give the name of this file as delhi now in this folder there are 51 files how many files are there 51 files so do i need to do those three steps again do i need to repeat those three steps again the answer is no that was only one time activity my job in the company would be just to go to home menu bar and refresh okay home menu bar refresh so do not worry this also won't be the job in the company we have a feature of automating the refresh option okay which is when we publish so that is not covered in the video but refresh also can be automated so no problem if i click on home menu bar refresh everyone 10368 records will be updated to 10751 records and if you do not trust me you can just click on this drop down and you can see for that particular file named as delhi.csv okay if you keep on dumping the file in the folder or if you keep on you know adding the data in that particular folder this will be automatically updated it is highly possible okay so the first topic of this day is completed how do we automate the entire process now many people might have a question that do i need to have the same file format does the column name has to be same okay etc etc so that is covered in the other videos which i've already recorded whatever data i'm using data set now coming back to the topic so this is the data view and i can come to report view see managers and clients and end users they do not see automation okay they do not see time saving what they want to see they want to see the output as a report okay how do we use a report part here so right now everyone how do i create a report in less than seven minutes so i'm going to finish this work in the seven minutes how do we do that let's see so first thing i'm very new to this power bi i can just double click on this blank space anywhere okay double click on the blank space and here i can type as let's say any column which i have on the right hand side you see there are plenty of columns on the right hand side i can just write here let's say category and sales why sales because manager told me to see the sales part and i can write as pie chart okay so category sales pie and you see within seconds i've got a pie chart and i can just click on ok button here a small button which is okay that's one part double click on the blank space and i can write here as region okay region sales donut see everyone by the way i'm just picking up this region sales why because we have the columns named as region we have the column named as sales so any field if you try to pick up you can just use that field and create a chart here so i'll pick up the second chart as well double click on the blank space here i can type as subcategory okay i can type as subcategory sales and i can write here as funnel chart okay subcategory sales funnel chart and a funnel chart is ready i have never prepared funnel chart in excel this is the first time i'm using inside power bi so i can just pick up and drag and drop it here okay that's one easy method to prepare a chart so any layman okay any person who has no coding knowledge any student who is college going student can prepare power bi reports today okay double click on the blank space and i can write here as state state sales and map what is state sales and map remember whenever you get a geographical information like country city state pin code 
always go for a map okay blindly go for a map so i can click on this option so don't prepare column chart and pie chart when you get a geographical data so the next part is i can type here as the order date okay so order date sales and line okay so whenever you get a date data type okay whenever you get a date data type go for the line chart so i can just click on okay the remaining part is double click on this blank space and i can type as sales and that's the option here click on okay a numerical column always remember if you just type a numerical column okay i know it was fast i can just double click right as profit only numerical column name click on okay 95 percent people forget to click on okay button you are not among those 95 percent you are among the five percent don't forget that thing click on okay you can just bring it down okay and same way i can just double click again on the blank space quantity click on okay and the other part is discount okay that's the other part discount click on okay now so we have created a report okay but when i went to my manager okay and i showed this report he said what is this report all about there's no title nothing is given so remember everyone within three minutes we were able to create this report even if you are new to this power bi you may take four five ten twenty minutes but i think this is much better right that than an excel why it is better because the whole report is interactive the whole report is interactive i did not do anything to make it connected it is already connected between the charts suppose if i want to answer my manager about the south region so for the south region what is the sales what is the profit quantity discount every detail i'll be getting if my manager says can you tell me in the technology which subcategory is doing a good job so i can tell them mobile phones is having a very good sales sir you can go for it you can vouch for it the lowest sales is done by the copyists you can discard that product okay and similarly if i click on this place which is california the California sales bigger, you know, it looks bigger, the size of the bubble. So if I click on California, you can see the sales distribution, you can see the profit, quantity, discount, everything. So it is just button click and it is prepared in few minutes. By the way, coming to the point, I can just give a title on the top. Okay, so insert menu bar, I can click on text box. Here in the text box, I can just write here as Techno Edge. Techno Edge Learning Services Sales Analysis Report. Remember, it is not a dashboard, okay? It is a report. So when you're showing this to someone, it is a report, not a dashboard. So what is a dashboard and a report? You have to see the video. We have created a separate video for us, yeah? So TechnoEdge Learning Services, Sales Analysis Report, which I prepared. Now, this company, TechnoEdge Learning Services, okay, also has the social media platform. So I can ask people to go to insert menu bar and I can click on image and I can pick up photo I already have a photo in my laptop. It's a LinkedIn photo. So I can just drag and drop it over here. I also have an image for TechnoEdge. So I can just go to desktop and I can just pick up this logo new. And that's it. Now, this is the report which I've prepared in less than five, six minutes. Okay, everyone. I took this report to my manager and showed him. See, manager, I've prepared this report. But when I showed it to him, he was not happy. He started pointing out the mistakes. He said the report looks very black and white. I said, boss, it is very easy to understand, right? He said the report should be good looking. People are not liking on LinkedIn. You have to prepare an attractive report. And I'm being very bad with the colors. Trust me, I do not have great color combinations what other people have. So usually male people, they have only few colors choices like black, blue, green, yellow, and orange, other colors. Whereas females, they are born gifted with, you know, sensing the colors dark blue, light blue, carbon blue, different blue. So what happens is I was in a problem, right? So I went to this view menu bar and I took help of this area, right? View menu bar. And these are like inbuilt themes which are present. So I can pick up this theme. Okay. I picked up this innovate theme after researching a lot of things and I selected this innovate theme. Now, everyone, this report I took to my manager. Okay. Obviously after one hour, I have to also see the formatting alignment and all this. This will take 30, 40 more minutes more. Okay. So in very less time, I'm able to build this report, a good looking interactive report, which people call as a dashboard. It is a report by the way. Okay. And I am able to present the insights about the data. So when I go for a presentation, my manager can quickly take decisions on this. You see, when I click, 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 I can get the answers quickly on the spot. Okay, so everyone coming to the end of the video, what we have learned in this video session is one is how do we combine multiple CSV files from a folder? Okay, multiple CSV files. You can combine CSV, you can combine Excel, you can combine PDF files also. 
by the way okay this creating report is not a big challenge anybody can do it you saw right anybody can do it where comes a major challenge about the data cleaning people do not talk about data cleaning so data cleaning is a major issue which people face but they do not talk about it okay so that also you have to master this one you have to first master and then later on you can go for data cleaning and data modeling part the file will be saved everyone thank you for watching